All right, each of the problems on this worksheet compute the payment, which is a, an annuity payment of equal amounts for each period, each of the NPERs uh, over, over time. So we're going to start with Fred borrowing money to purchase a new car. So Fred wants to borrow $20,000. The dealer can arrange a loan that will completely amortize the loan over the next four years. It has an annual rate of 4.5% but requires monthly payments. Okay, so if there's 12 payments a year for four years, there'll be 48 monthly payments for this first set. The interest rate is 4.5% divided by 12. Now, if it's monthly, you have to convert the annual rate into a monthly interest rate. All right, the present value would be the $20,000 Fred gets from the bank to, to buy the car. Completely amortized loan means you owe zero at the end, and we're solving for the payment. So, equals. PMT, open parents, click on there, it opens up a dialog box. I'm using cell references for a reason, because I can just copy stuff over to the next several cells once I get one of these set up. Present value, future value, hit the return. Alright, so the payments on that car would be $456.07. The total amount paid, if you took the absolute value, each of the payments will be $456.07, and you're going to make 48 of them. So your total amount paid will be a little shy of $22,000. How much of it is interest? Anything in excess of $20,000 that you give them is interest. And the principal would be whatever they lent you. Okay. Now here's the shortcut. Once I have done this once, I can actually just copy it over. The only thing that changes between this problem for between the first part, the four-year loan, the five-year loan, the six-year loan is the number of payments. There's 60 months in a five-year period. There's 72 months in a six-year period. So fairly easy once you get one of these set up to do the do the calculations. You can copy all this crap over into the all the other problems in the spreadsheet as well. As long as all of these are solving for PMT. That's why I highlight the cell uh, that I'm trying to solve for because then I'll always know anytime I need to solve for a PMT I'll just go copy uh, this set of, of stuff and then change the numbers that uh, go into the computation. Alright, note that the payments go down but the total amount paid goes up. That's because the payments are going down because you're spreading the loan over more months, 12 more extra months here, 24 extra months here. So your payment goes down, you just make it longer and you end up paying more money. There's not a lot of difference in there and if you can't afford $456 for a car payment, well this is how you get the car payment down. Alright, Bob borrowed $250,000 to purchase a house, monthly payments over 30 years, annual percentage rate 5%, what are the monthly payments? What do you pay in interest? If you took out a 15-year mortgage, what would be the monthly payments in the interest? Well, since I've already done this, the calculation up here, if I just copy this down and then change what I need to change for this problem. Instead of 48 monthly payments, there are 360 payments. It's not 4.5% monthly, it's 5%. And 
and it's not 20,000, it's 250,000. <coughs> so each payment 1342, I'll pay 483,000, 233,000 interest, 250,000 principal. All right, well, I can copy all of this over to the next set of cells here because what I'm looking for, if he took out a 15-year mortgage at 4.5%, there'd be 180 payments in 15 years, and the 4.5%, oops, 4.5%, same $250,000, notice that the payment is higher but you pay a lot less interest. Okay? 180 payments, 4.5%. Divide, oh, that's where that extra 4 went. There we go. So, 4.5% divided by 12 will give you the monthly interest rate. The payments are higher, all right? Considerably higher, but you pay considerably less interest in total. That's because you're only making 180 payments instead of 360. You pay off the loan faster. You don't pay interest once you get the loan paid off. All right, so quick way to, to save $140,000 here. All right, Dave borrows $1,000 from a loan shark. The loan shark requires weekly payments, which carry an annual rate of 140 cent, 140%. Got to pay off the loan in six months. How much is each weekly payment? All right. Number of periods. There are 26 weeks in six months or half a year. The interest rate is 140% a year, but we're making weekly payments. So divide by 52 to get this 52 weeks in a year, convert it to a weekly interest rate. The present value is $1,000. You're going to completely pay off the loan. That gives us a payment of $53.98. Well, that ain't bad. And I can just copy the rest of this stuff down. You'll pay back an extra $403.38 over the six-month period on your $1,000 loan. So uh, simple TVM problems that you run into on a day-by-day -day basis uh, for solving for payments, for the, the periodic payment associated with various loans.